All right, welcome back to another revolutionary episode of Exit the Norm. I'm Jeff. Not Jeff. Not Jeff Jr. So today we're in Manchester, New Hampshire, and we're actually going to be checking out Pulaski Park here. So we've actually driven by this location quite a few times. I personally drive by it every day. So we came to check it out, and it has an interesting story. But before we show you around, make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you learned something. Hoot! All right, let's go check it out. <laughs> Hoots! Nestled in the middle of Bridge, Pine, Union, and High Street, Pulaski Park is just one of many historic parks in Manchester, New Hampshire. And it's one with a fascinating story. Now this area was previously known as Tremont Commons, but was renamed Pulaski Park in 1933. Then in 1938, with support from local individuals, local businesses, the state of New Hampshire, the city of Manchester, and even with some money from FDR's New Deal, a full-size bronze statue of Casimir Pulaski was installed in the center of the park. This magnificent statue was designed by local artist Lucian Hippolyte Gosselin. You can find some more of Gosselin's creations here in Manchester, in Victory Park, and also in Sweeney Park. Who knows, maybe we'll check those out too. Casimir Pulaski was born in Poland in 1745. He became involved in the military and politics at an early age. He ended up fighting for his home country as part of the Confederation of the Bar against the Russians. But when that uprising failed, he was forced into exile. He traveled to Paris, but the French army refused to accept him. Luckily for Pulaski though, he met Benjamin Franklin and was put on a ship to America. He landed in Boston in July of 1777 and immediately reported to General Washington. Washington informed Pulaski that he'd need approval of the Continental Congress before he could join the ranks. But Pulaski refused to wait. He jumped right into the Battle of Brandywine and protected the collapsing right flank of Washington with a cavalry charge giving Washington time to retreat, thus saving Washington's life and quite possibly saving the entire revolution. For this noble deed he was commissioned Brigadier General and became forever known as the father of the American cavalry. Pulaski led his cavalry in many other battles after the Battle of Brandywine, but was mortally wounded in the Battle of Savannah on October 11, 1779. He was buried with full honors at a nearby plantation, but later moved to the city beneath a monument honoring him in a downtown square. When they exhumed his body in the 1990s, they discovered that the skeleton looked more like a female and not a male. There was a question as to whether these were really the remains of General Pulaski. After years of confusion and speculation, a DNA test finally solved the mystery. His DNA was matched with a known relative of his, and other forensic evidence determined the remains were indeed Casimir Pulaski. This means Pulaski was most likely intersex. Although he identified and lived his life as male, he did not fit the binary definitions of male or female. This revelation just adds another layer to the Pulaski story, and it makes that story that much more important. Even though Casimir Pulaski doesn't have any real ties to Manchester, he was and still is a source of inspiration for the Polish-American community here in the city, and in cities across the country. Tens of thousands of immigrants, just like General Pulaski, have helped to found this great nation and make it what it is today. In 1929, Congress passed a resolution designating October 11th as General Pulaski Memorial Day, and every year the President renews this resolution through a proclamation. Celebrations are held all over the country. Unfortunately, the Pulaski Festival here in Manchester was cancelled this year due to the pandemic. But you know we'll be back here next year to celebrate our favorite Polish general. I can almost smell the pierogies now. During the summer of 2019, the Brigadier General Kazimir Pulaski Monument Restoration Project, a public-private partnership involving the city of Manchester and local volunteers, undertook the colossal task of cleaning and restoring this historic monument for the citizens of Manchester. 
they were able to clean years of corrosion off the general and make some much needed repairs to him and his trusty steed. They even had to repaint and repair the fence surrounding the statue. The statue is now quite a sight to see and a beautiful addition to the downtown area. So if you're in Manchester, take a stroll down one of the paths and give a little nod to this inspiring man. All right, thanks for joining us here on this latest episode of Exit the Norm. If you haven't already, make sure you do like, comment, subscribe, and let us know down in the comments if you have any memorials and or monuments where you are. Hopefully you learned something. Don't forget to hoot! Hoot! Hoot!